folks, Captain Dave here. What I just showed you was the topic of my next tech tip. What I was just showing you was something that, is, that saves me a ton of time and money. Time and money go together, we all know that. And instead of taking reels apart or having to maintain the reels to a high degree, in which I try to do, being out on the boat, on an open boat, center console, 365 days a year, you got sun, you got cold, you got, you got spray, you got salt water, uh, you name it, out on the boat when my rods and reels are sitting in my rod racks or my lean, uh, leaning post rocket launchers, they're subjected to everything. And the tech tip is reel covers. I highly recommend that if you want to keep your reels looking good to invest in some reel covers. Now, I don't have any real spinners. I've got like four spinning reels in my entire arsenal. I don't use spinning tackle that much except for a little tiny slice of uh, fishing that I do maybe in the winter or, you know, that type of stuff. So I don't necessarily have covers on them, but there's also covers for spinning reels. A little harder to find and manage and get the right ones. Um, and what I've always noticed being spinning reels to me are highly obtrusive. So when you put a case or you put a cover on them, they kind of get really bulky. But I'm going to show you from the simplest reel cover all the way to the fanciest. This is a reel cover that's just absolutely the whole outside is kind of like fuzzy. Okay. So this is an Avet reel cover. Here's fancy for you. It loops all the way around. Then on the bottom, it's got Velcro. Okay. Velcro strap to reveal, uh, two-speed Avet reel. So this re reel cover was actually built for this Avet reel. Okay, so what you do is you stick it on there. You can see it says Avet on it, Avet reels. And it's the exact size and goes around. You pull it tight and it, the Velcro goes up underneath. And this one's so fancy that it literally, whoop, it literally wraps around the reel and goes on like that. So this is probably one of your more high-tech, fancy reel covers. But I'm going to show you just a simple reel cover, okay? This is a simple reel cover that is perfect for my float rig fishing. These reels have to, um, for me, these reels have to stay in very good condition, okay? So I'm very adamant about putting reel covers on the reels when the reels aren't being used and they're sitting. I do not want spray on these, and the reason being is these are low-profile reels. These are uh, Shimano Corrado 300 DSVs, all right? A low-profile reel like this can be very subject to any little salt intrusion. So we, we make sure that we always put on this simple reel cover, all right? This one, they're a really good one is made out of kind of a neoprene wetsuit material and has a for for bait casters at least has a hole for the handle and nice velcro now the 
whole idea is is to make sure you get the right size I've got some that are a little bigger than the reel is but that's sort of okay and then you've got ones that are just for low profile this here this reel is made for a round reel so this one goes on here I'm trying to do this so you can see it okay this one goes on here and it isn't all that sloppy or anything like that but what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get the right size okay and what I'm gonna do for y'all is I have found an outlet on eBay for these reel covers now as you can see in this reel cover here it's not fitting like a glove it's got a little wiggle room which is okay because underneath here there's my trout lid on my float rig so I don't need them to be really super tight you don't want them to be like a glove on here too much <coughs> one of the objectives is is you're not putting the Florida Sun baking on your line that is a good deal sitting there just burning into the spool it gets so hot in Florida that if you're using monofilament and you're going out day in day out day in day out and you're getting salt and Sun that's actually going to degrade you know it's going to degrade your line somewhat it does the same thing with braid I'm sure it bleaches out the color in the braid so it's protecting my line protecting my high dollar reels okay so covers are the tech tip and I am in the below section here the description section of this video gonna put at least one link of where you can get all different kinds of reel covers but one thing I want you to do is it took me a while to learn from this company they name the reels okay or the reel covers and they call it a BC bait casting okay a BC 40 BC 60 BC 80 and what I want you to do is pay close attention that when you do get any reel covers from this company that you're gonna get the right size because for me it was a bit of a learning curve but if you if you make a mistake it's no big deal because if you've got all different size reels you can find ones to fit on there but I mark this on the outside what this reel cover goes to so this goes FR float rig rod right and that's where that's on and um, the neat thing about it is when I take them off on the back of my leaning post if you fish with me we've done it on the back of my leaning post is a big rail then I take the reel cover off and I wrap it around the rail and it sits right there ready to be put on when the reels done being used so that's the tech tip reel covers especially in the south and especially in any kind of salt water environment with lots of spray okay I get tons of spray and all kinds of stuff all winter long so this is what saves me instead of doing real maintenance constantly trying to keep all these low profiles working smoothly it's basically down to one time a year and another thing people ask me all the time on my boat how do I maintain my reels well they see that I'm doing the reel covers but the first thing that they think of is I go home I lean up all my rods and reels against the boat or against the fence or whatever and I shoot them all with a hose in all reality it's probably the worst thing you could ever do to a reel if you don't have a cover on and it's got a lot of salt spray or salt water usage on it and you shoot it with a hose what you're doing is you're you're pushing that salt water into every crevice in the reel don't do that I wash off every single rod this way hose wash the, the rod off turn it around you can even see for all them sunscreen gooey ha uh, hands that I end up taking I've even got a protection on some of my rods here because I don't want all that sunscreen gooey stuff getting all over my EVA foam so I've got this grip which is a tennis 
ratchet grip on there that can absorb all that nastiness. But I spray off the handles. I spray this off. If the reels need any kind of cleaning, a damp terry cloth towel or microfiber towel. I spray it down with water. I wring it out and I wipe my reel off and that's it. Don't take a fire hose, garden hose, and spray your reels. I don't care what kind of reels you got. You're just probably asking for a lot more maintenance. So that's the tech tip. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to look below and I'm going to try to see if I can take the store on eBay that sells these really cheap and they're good strong neoprene reel covers just watch pay attention to what they tell you and get the right size well thanks for watching